All right, guys, we are back here. We are going to be testing what is called a wind turbine generator, as seen previously in some of my other video. And here it is. It is sitting up here. It is that same one. I've got it hooked up to a rectifier. And just using these to pinch the wires onto the rectifier that'll hold perfect for this test. And it's feeding out of that into a watt meter. And you can see here, everything is pretty much negatories. It's going up to my battery bank, which is currently at 14.2 roughly. So as you can see coming up, there's, this is my auxiliary battery bank in my, in my tool or my tool area that I use. And it goes fed all the way back up to the main battery bank. So <clears throat> we're going to uh, test this thing out. Now, um, it has a Allen style socket right there. I'm going to leave the nut on it so you'll be able to see it's turning. And it is sitting up on my little red work table. And I have in my drill a porter cable that will run uh, 650 RPMs max. Okay, so with this porter cable with 650 RPM max, we're going to put it in the end here get it in and then we're going to spin this up and i'm using this one hand to video with so let me get this over here so y'all can get an idea and i'm going to go ahead and i've got it in let me switch it down in low speed first okay that low speed is 210 rpm so that's telling you that this little unit See how fast that's moving? 210 RPM. At 210 RPM, this thing is making 17, making more, a little over an amp. So that's technically about a eight mile an hour wind. So that's its startup, I'd call it eight. And now let's go ahead and put it in high speed. <laughs> and get the turbine up and running. I am producing uh, seven and a half, seven amps. My battery's dying on my drill, so. So we had a peak out there of, let's see if it shows me what the peak was. Seven points, 112 watts. So if you add the drawdown that this generator puts on you, the fact that I'm already at 14 volts, that 110, 112 watts, let's see here, that's not embarrassing because that is roughly about, it never made it to its RPMs. You can hear the difference. Here's full RPMs. And under load, that one slowed it down to probably about 350. So that's not bad. This little generator is appearing to be as advertised so far. Because we're not talking about durability, we're talking about function. Now, anybody, anybody who buys it, it turns easy. So anybody who buys a generator and you buy a generator and it comes with a little five foot set of blades or even a seven foot set of blades and they're calling it anything over six or 800 watts, you're buying something from a liar. This little generator has four foot, I believe it's four foot two diameter blades. So if it takes four foot two diameter blades to make a no normal output of 200 watts with a peak output of 400 watts and a safety output of 600 watts, that's how this is rated as a 400, but it's not, it's normal will be about two. So about 16 amps is it's normal. And 16 amps, that's a 16 amp battery charger. Now my suggestion is you can get you five of these for a thousand bucks, or you can get you, the other stuff. Now I'm not I'm not into this. Uh, this is my my choice of design. This is what I ended up with. So I can take this. Now the, remember the battery is dying on this drill, and now if I go get a new battery, if I cut this video, it's just because I'm getting a new battery. Don't panic. All right. The fact of the matter is that 
a new battery might make a difference. Now 650 RPMs and four foot blades is roughly about an 18 mile an hour wind speed. So that's telling me that this thing's coming out pretty true. Now I got a new battery here and you can listen. I'm a lot louder there and we chuck it up. So you can see that it peaked out. It'll show you the peak wattage right there, 126 watts. Well, that's not bad when you consider this is just a little, what, that little bitty tiny motor that's inside there turning this. That's not bad, okay? Now, if I had a 24 volt Milwaukee, it'd probably hit its limits. But he said, or they did say that these will, these will loosen up. They're stiff when they're new. They'll loosen up as they're up there in the air. About a week into it, they'll be making its peak power. And I believe the guy now. So this is sold by Heal, H-E-A-L, Heal Corporation or whatever they're called. They're out of Moscow, Idaho. And it is the ones you see everywhere. It's got the little, you know, design on them. Uh, but he sells them for about $100 cheaper than you can buy them from anybody on eBay. And, you know, you can go directly to his website. I'll have it on my page. Um, don't know them don't recommend them just telling you where i got it so so you know you got problems with it deal with it from where you bought it not from me i'm just showing you what it can do so all right so there's where you showed here it said that uh it maxed out at wherever the hell we're at here um 8.85 amps and 126 watts so is this worth it for a couple hundred bucks to buy this or to buy say three or four of them versus buying one single one of those alternator adapted or washing machine motor looking alternator. <sighs> Open face things. Is it worth it? Yes, it's worth it. Those won't last very long. Their, their magnets will eventually chip and get rust in them and they'll die and they'll, they'll completely fall apart. So it's up to you. Buy what you want to buy. But um, that don't that meter don't lie, okay? And that just tells you that the unit works. And if you're buying something that's got, you know, five foot, 60 inch diameter blades on it and they're claiming it produces anything over 500 watts, they are just straight to hell lying to you. I don't care how many blades, you can put 500 blades on it, it's still only gonna produce 500 watts. The, the surface area or the rotational speed is, in, is not going to be sufficient to get that thing spinning fast enough to produce that. I don't care world's fastest blades, world's most, you know, uh, uh, manufactured out of some kind of space age composites, that shit don't matter. What matters is circumference of blade so that you can provide the torque because you heard this fan, you heard this thing bogged down so that you could provide the torque once you exceed and go past battery voltage, this current battery voltage, which in this case was high. So it, it took a lot more to push this. So it was high. So once you exceed battery voltage, you better have big blades. Now in this case, four foot blades for this little thing. Cause I mean, look at my hand, it's not huge. It's not, I got big hands, but I mean, this is not, that's inch and a half pipe collar. So it's not huge, but I'd be willing to believe this would put out 200 watts on a regular basis. And if I had three of them for 600 bucks, it put out 200 watts. I will put out twice as much wattage as anything you can buy that looks like an alternator or called a PMG or whatever the hell. So just an update on this little turbine. There you go. All right, guys.